Why are you cut in front of me? Ah, uh, sorry, Thomas. I need a spotlight for a change. After all, I'm full of surprises. They all but say get me. I bring some razzle dazzle to the railway. I'm full of surprises. I need a spotlight for a change. Unlike you, who gets it always the same. Ha <laughs> ha! Diesel the movie. Diesel was very busy that, that day, and he was causing a lot of trouble. Sir Tom Hat was very cross with Diesel at the end of the day. Diesel, I am furious with you. You have been causing confusion and delay the whole day. Taking Thomas's line, he on his own branch line too. Diesel, very cool. Whatever, sir. And Diesel left. Diesel went to the Diesel work, where all his friends were. Derek, that was there, Happy Hook, Den was not there, but a lot of other friends were. Hey guys! Snap! Derek! Hello Diesel! Hello Diesel! Hi, oh, I'm just a little tired recently. Oh, I haven't! Oh, he takes a few trips. You can go come up here though, Diesel. Ah, oh, thanks! Diesel went over the elevating turn gate. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen Diesel's time get out of there. Diesel was. Yeah. He takes a few trips around. I think he's such a storm, but he's. I don't know where he is. Maybe he's behind us, maybe he's not. Yeah. Well, have you had some going on vacation? Hmm. Well. Wow. Never knew that. Yeah, I don't know. He ha says he hasn't gone on vacation in a long time. Oh, I can imagine. He has so much work to do, crawling the railway. Didn't he go find Thomas, though? Yeah, but Thomas came back to Surly for him. I don't know what that's all about. I think I might go, just in case Diesel had not tried to leave in the morning. Diesel did the right thing, as he would find out that morning. As in the shed, Diesel was happy. <laughs> so Tom had some on vacation, see? Trying to escort my plan. <laughs> oh yes, we will be doing some fun things. That morning when Diesel woke up, he saw Diesel 10. Diesel 10? What are you doing? Oh, hello Diesel. I'm just taking a tr I'm just going to take a trip around the Diesel Works, nothing much. Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Diesel. Hmm. Later, Diesel was in a conversation. When he, when he saw Sir Tom Hat telling Thomas to pick up Mr. Percival. Thomas, please pick up Mr. Percival after you drop me off at the airport. Hmm. Okay, sir. You can count on me. Excellent, Thomas. Well, we mustn't miss my fl flight. Lady Hat's already there at the airport. She drove my car. Hum. Well, at the air... Pick up Mr. Percival. I think he's at Crowland's Gate. Diesel, being the engine he is, picked up Mr. Percival. Crowland's Gate was very busy, and Mr. Percival was always early when Sir Tom Hat needed to talk to him. Oh, hello, sir. Hello, Diesel. Why are you picking me up? Oh, cuz I'm I'm supposed to, so Tom Mac told me to. Okay. Peter Sam, have you seen Mr. Percival? Where is he? Thomas! I saw a diesel take him, I think. Oh my goodness, Diesel took him? Diesel! Ah, uh, that diesel! I'll chase him! I'll catch him! I'll I'll catch him. Diesel. How did you chase him? Diesel. And he cleared my worst. Surprise. Diesel passed by Marin Station. Diesel, I'll get back. Diesel was ahead. And then Billy broke down. What? Now? Billy, can you move? Oh. I broke down, oh. Thomas. And his locker was away. Oh, cinders and ashes. Oh, I broke down. Huh. 
Sorry, Tom. Uh, oh. Don't worry, brother. Sorry. Oh, Luckily, yeah. his brother Charlie came How to meet him. You'll have to be behind me. Okay, time. Thomas. Wait, no. Let's hear a joke. No, I don't want to hear a joke. <laughs> but Thomas was behind them and he was going very slow. <laughs> sucks. This sucks, said Thomas. <laughs> Finally, Thomas was approaching a, a switch. But it was a long way away. Longer than thought. Finally, they went on to an area where they di went different ways. Diesel dropped off Mr. Percival at after station. Thank you, Diesel, for the ride. I will let no, Sir Tom Hat know what, how good you are. No, please don't. I insist. De Sir, Mr. Percival phone called Sir Tom Hat. Philip, hurry up and fetch my train. Okay, Diesel. What train was it again? Oh, flatbeds. Okay. I'll fetch him right now. Here you go, Diesel. Thank you. Let me get you to your break then. Come on, come on. Come on, come up. We need to go. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Purple, where's the break Come on, Philip. Hurry up. Sorry, Diesel. Um, we don't have a break on. We do have this Christmas caboose. But I don't think we should use that. No, let's just use it. Let's go. Are you sure? Let's just go. Okay. No need to yell. Billow was too busy concentrating on whether he should actually listen to Diesel or not. And then Mr. Percival came. Diesel, I heard you were not supposed to be taking this me, and Thomas was. I am very cross with Bye, Mr. Percival. I'll talk to you later. Diesel, why did you steal my train? I didn't steal it, Thomas. I just did a job that a diesel should do. Not a stinky, steamy. Like you. Hmm. Anyway, I should go. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. Plus, you can only go like 20 miles per hour. I can go very fast. 60. Arr! I'll get you back for stealing my points. Hey, um, is this a shower for the birthday party for my 70-year-old grandfather? My grandson? Yes, it is, Anna. Your seven-year-old grandson was rude. He called me bad guy. Because I'm a black smelly diesel. That's kind of racist, don't you think? Like, like, legit, like. I'm sorry, but your grandson does not deserve this. Oh my gosh, that engine. Then a hand, a hand car showed up, and Mr. Percival was on it. Hello, Diesel! Oh, at least you don't, at least you're not fat like that. Hmm. Diesel, I'm very cross with you. Calling someone, calling the, the person at Maple Station, grandson, rude. Just, what have you been doing? Like, I'm sorry, Diesel, I'm very cross with you. I do not know what Sir Tom Hatt will do, but I am just cross. Like, I can't do anything because I'm really cool, but I will. Help come at what you've done. Okay, fine. I don't care. Diesel, like legit. I don't get mad at my ninja. Why do you keep saying these water day terms, Mr. Peregrine Percival? Don't call me that, Diesel. Thomas was on his way to Tithmas Sheds when he saw Edward. Hello, Thomas. How are things? Oh, Diesel's just being ruder than ever, Edward. Just, just, just been diesel, but worse. Every engine has a good side. I doubt diesel does. Thomas, every engine does. I've seen the good side of diesel before. You just have to wait and see. Diesel has good in him. You just don't, he just doesn't like to show it. 
Okay, Edward. Thomas knew Edward was right, but he was still confused. Oh dear, Thomas just doesn't know just to ignore Diesel. Thomas decided to ignore Diesel though. He heard what Edward said, and next time he saw Diesel, he did just that. Hello, Thomas! Boom! Boom. Ah! <laughs> Later, Diesel went to the Diesel Works, where he saw all the Diesels that he'd never seen in a long time. Splatter, Dodge, the one Diesel that visited for that short time. A lot of failed visitors that were, were sent packing. Hello, Diesel. Get out. Yeah, you're not part of a plan. Yeah. Get out. At least I didn't fail and have to be towed by a steam engine. At least I didn't tell so many lies that I got caught. Yeah, at least the time I didn't sense it with, that, with no proof. Huh. Derek, what are you doing here? I'm broken down. I need to be repaired. Yeah, and I'm here too. Bert, I think Iron Bert's coming soon. Why do you call him Iron? And who's this? I'm your replacement. Yes, he's way more serious, Class Weight Shanta. Seriously, l l being like seriously, Diesel, you've been dwindling down over the years. You're more helpful these days than anything. Helpful? I haven't been meanly helpful in a And as always, get out. Yeah, just get out. Get out. Come on, leave, you loser. I'm not a loser. Ha, huh. good. Got him out. <laughs> the diesels all laugh. I know how the moon looks fail. Looking down from space without any friends. But I actually deserve it. I know. Looking down from the clouds Oh, I know how the moon must feel All alone every day Oh, I know how the moon must feel tonight Oh, I know how the moon must feel tonight Diesel, can you stop? Singing, you sing really badly. Whatever, Percy. I mean it, these you just oh, uh. huh? That diesel knew what he would do. He decided to stop Diesel Ten. I will stop Diesel Ten. I know I am. Oh yes, I will stop Diesel Ten. And I will stop him from his plan. And I will stop Diesel Ten. No matter what I happen, oh, I should stop our Diesel Four Ten. I should stop him at once. I should stop him from taking over the railway. I will stop him. Oh yes, I will. Not Thomas. It's me. <laughs> It's me, it's me, it's me! Back at the Diesel Works, the Diesels were all decided to backstab someone. Ari! Ari. Yes? Ari. Yeah, Ari, you dumb engine. Yeah! No one likes you, Ari. Yeah, you like. Ducks, apparently, like Diesel. You know what happens to softies? You know what happens? You get, you get kicked out. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're going to put you on Habio. Get out of the way, dumb Derek. Get out, or we're going to do the same. You're lucky I'm begging. I'm giving you symphony, Derek. Come on, out you go. Whoa, no, what the? Wait, what? Yeah. 
We'll put you on an abandoned society, maybe. We'll leave you there forever and ever. Yeah, I wouldn't scrap my own kind. Okay. Are you sure that was really necessary, boss? I know it was necessary, Splodge. I'll hang you up, too. Yeah. Uh, help. Uh, no one cares, dumb airy. Hey. Wait, I forgot. To, I, I'm, I'm facing backwards. Oh. <laughs> Help. Oh, this sucks. Can you let me go? Not a chance. Yeah. We drop you now. Yeah, we'll lay you in the abandoned siding. I'll take ya. When I feel like it. Yeah, don't take him even. You know what I have to. <laughs> yeah. Rosie, Rosie, you have to stop me. Diesel, I'm trying to get my radio camera. My radio system working. Radio system? Yes. Den had them, but he ran out of fuel somewhere. He had the rest of them. Hum, I'm on my radio camera. I don't know where Den is. Can you help me, though? No! Why would I help you? You're rude, and I don't believe you. Oh. Come on. Ugh. Soon, Diesel found Den. Hello, Diesel. Oh, thank goodness you found me. I've been here. For a while. Yes, we were. I was wondering where you were. Do you have all the cameras? The right. Um, why do I keep saying cameras? Radios. Yeah. We can whip yours right now. Okay. Hmm. What's Gordon? There's two Gordons online. Let's listen to one of them. Express coming through. Put that. What's the other one? Put that dynamite truck right there. Wait, what? We want Gordon to blow up. Wait, what? Oh my goodness. Dan, we need to stop them. Yeah. Wait, let's see Ryan. Ryan's online. Ryan. Diesel to Ryan. Oh, hello, Diesel. Ryan, are you nearby? Crunk. Actually, I am. I'm taking this train to Oldsborough Harbour. Can you stop some trains? Please, I'll explain the details. I'll go stop them myself. Okay. Diesel was lucky to know where Gordon, 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 stop. What is it? Gordon, there's dynamite on lines. Why would there dynamite be dynamite on the line, Diesel? A crock full of dynamite? Ha, oh, you're silly. I'm Diesel 10, I'm trying to stop a heat but it. Oh, you're probably working with him. Oh, I don't have time to listen to him. Gordon, wait! Wait! Oh no, Ryan. Hey, I don't care. I don't care, you know, I don't like my life. Uh, I've been taken away from my leadership. Scrubby, just don't do this. No. If, if the sparks, if the sparks from me, I brace will blow you up with me. Probably Gordon. Express coming to all the end of Oh my goodness gracious! Ooh! Ah, Diesel, uh, I'm sorry I doubted you earlier today, said Gordon later that day. Okay? Yeah, you could have died! Oh, thank you. I am so sorry. Wait, but who is in that signal box? It was Zookeeper Jack. <laughs> I never like you, steam trains, causing pollution for animals. <laughs> you know, that's why I tried to have it. What? Call the police at once. Call them. You can't catch me. Heh <laughs> Zookeeper Jack walked away. 
or, tr or was walking toward. Oh, great. Can't go this way. Uh, oh, wait. Just go away. <laughs> Try to make Ryan shove him out. But Ryan kept budging. You're going to kill me. You could have killed so many passengers. Ugh. He was trying to slide out. Finally, he did. Oh. Oh. He hopped on Splatter and drove off. What? And Blazes? Can you help us stop some? Yeah, I can get that easy. I knew I could count on you, Ryan. Well, we are friends, aren't we, Diesel? Well, you're friends with one of my friends, so surely... Yep. Diesel was very excited and decided to recruit all the other Diesels as well. All the other Diesels... All the other Diesel Shunters here. Like that idea. Yes, of course we can help you, Diesel! Right! Yeah, right! Well, we must get some sleep. Yeah, we got forced out of the diesel works. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, what? Oh, um, can I join you too, diesel? Oh, of course you can. Yay. I gotta go to Wells' shed, though. Bye. Wait. Okay. I'm sure Philip would make a good improvement. Diesel, the next day Diesel was told told by facts and something. Diesel, there's, a, there's another attack, I think. Okay, we must get everyone. The Diesels were at Farquhar Station. They had found Philip at Wellsworth. They also found Sydney at Farquhar. Sydney, come on, come help us. What? What? Oh, okay. Come on, Sydney. Not that way. Come on, Sydney. Let's go. Okay, Diesel. Okay, let's check the quarry. Maybe Dan or Dot are there. Or someone. Oh, okay, Diesel. They arrived at the quarry. But they couldn't see anyone there. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? No, probably not there. Oh, well, I don't know where. Like a boy. Wait, Dan was in the shed. Dan! Diesel saw him. Diesel, I was hiding from Diesel's hen. <laughs> I was worried. Don't be. We're going to stop him. Can I help? Um. Sure, Midas. I don't care about these trucks anyway. Toby can take them. That old fuck hot Toby. Huh. Let's go. Wait. I need to take my trucks first. Okay. Hurry up, though. Yeah, we need to go. Okay, I'm almost ready. Let me just uncover my trucks from the train. Come on. Ha! Huh? We're still coupled! Ha! Huh? Uh. Let's go! Okay! Ready? Set? To made this! Come back here! You're supposed to be working here! Bye, Trammy! Diesel and shove Toby! Whoa! Diesel! Said Henrietta! <laughs> Let's go, Mavis! Toby had to take trucks. He would have chased them, but he decided not to. As he had to take to the trucks to the, to the harbor. Oh dear, Mavis. When will she ever learn? Ha! Huh. When will you ever learn to have fun, Toby? I hope you trust behave. Meanwhile, Diesel, Mavis, and... Paxton were were in front. Then it was Sydney, Philip, and Dan. The, the, wait, I think I see Dot. Guys, there you are. Dot, thank goodness. Let's go. 
We have no time to spare. Wait. What's that? Harry? Yeah, I was put here on the side and trapped here. I can get into you. Let's go. Come on. Oh, wait. How can we do this? What if someone rams into me or something like that? Hmm. Three, two, one. No. I'm not doing it. Dizzy Diesels. I'll go to get these flatbeds. Shove. Whoa. 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 Oh, wait, you think we did it? I think we... Whoa, 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 yes. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. Hey, we did it. Oh, yeah, you helped me too, Dan. Thanks. The diesels all honked their horns and raced off once again. Hey, can I help you guys? Sure. We need a crane engine. How do you know what we're doing? Oh, Ryan and Daisy told me about it. I can help you, Diesel. Don't forget me, said Gordon. I'll help. Splendid. Yes. Okay, we have no time to spare. We must get going. Yes. We should! The engines raced off. But then there was trouble. Some points were going to be set. It was all a trap. They tricked Axton. The trucks were sent off. Whoa! They bumped into Norman and Sydney. Oh, cinders and ashes! What? What? Oh, no! Oh, the indignity. No, this is terrible! Oh, thank goodness Daisy wasn't here. She would have been derailed as well. Oh. Yeah, Daisy, I think, went to do a job or something. I think she's busy. Wow. Wait, what? Soon, James came in with Rocky. And who stepped out of James? James's cab was none other than Mr. Peregrine Percival himself. I am very cross with you, Diesel. You have been causing so much trouble over the past couple of days. So much trouble. I will be telling what you're talking about. And what are you all guys doing? Um, we're trying to stop these little Ha! Nah. I don't believe you and your dumb excuses. I'm very furious. And whatever gang this is going on must stop now. Do you understand? I am furious with you, Diesel. Furious. I didn't, you can ask all my Scarlet Row engines, they, I never yell, but I am just furious. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Sorry, Diesel. Oh, wait. Stay, come back. Sorry, Diesel. You're not going to get out of here. Diesel, I told you to leave. Fine. Ha, <laughs> ah, what a silly engine. He's probably working for Diesel 10. <laughs> yes, all according to plan. Later, Douglas was going in. Hey, you're coming with us. Wait, what? No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Take it, my God. Let's go.
Ha, I got these two. Yeah, I found them at the yard. Yeah. Hey, where are you going? Oh, thank goodness we found you, hero. The, the Diesel, they're trying to kidnap all of us. Diesel, right, all along. Wait, what? I don't know what that means. Wait, what are you doing on What are you doing on Sora, hero? Let's go, Kobe. You gotta run. Is you alright? But it was too late. <laughs> Got you now, stinky steamers, useless old relics of the past, ancient old machines. What's this? That thing should have been cut up for scrap years ago. Yeah, found these two at the steamworks. <laughs> found these at the clayworks. Uh, yeah, all in good times, right? Yup. Duck was on this was on the Bay Bridge at on the little western. Ha! Cut ya, ducky! Wait, no, let me go! Wait, what? Oh my goodness, cinders and ashes! What is it, Thomas? Wait, what? <laughs> Going somewhere? Rise and shine. You're coming with us, Puffball. Oh, who are you? They're very mean Indians. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, huh. And I didn't believe these was right the whole along. Yeah, we took care of them. So, wait, what? No! Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Emily. Ah, uh, 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 we got them. Yeah, uh, we now we should get more engines. Wait. No, this isn't fair. Well, you're a relic of the past. Should have been preserved before it's too late. Diesel 10 was very happy, but one engine wasn't caught yet. This was Ryan, who was very scared and knew he had to hide. Paxton was hiding when he overheard Diesel 10 telling something, which wasn't a lie this time. When are we going to cut up all the steam engines? I think we should do it tonight. Or something. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious, Paxton said to himself. Wait, what was that? I don't know. Hmm, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Paxton told Diesel, we should stop them at once. We must. We must. Mr. Percival can't stop us now. We must not fail. We have to do this. I know we must. We must. Diesel's intent to gonna scrap all the steam engines. What? He's going to. Yes. Oh, I thought he was just going to. Let's go. Send them away. Oh, I don't know. They found Dart at Farmer McCall's farm doing Percy's work, as Mr. Percival told them to. Dart, you gotta come with us. Okay, Diesel. Wait, why? I thought the group was to say it's done. No, it's not. We have to stop them. They're doing it tonight. We must. We only got a few more hours. It's almost the next day. It's almost two, it's almost evening. They found Mavis and Ari. They went on and rushed on their way. The diesels hooted and honked their horns, and they knew they had to rush to save the day. Wait, they went to Arlesburg Harbor, or Arlesburg Goods Yard, where they found Den hidden in a boxcar. Den? That's a really bad disguise. Worse than my surprise a few years ago. Well, um. I just hid and it worked. I'm hiding Ryan. Yeah. I wish he was hiding by a tunnel, but decided not to. Hi. We need to get that dumb crate off of you right now, Den. Plus, you can't hear right. Um, we just thought it looked like a... Wait, what? You just thought 
My horn sounded like a whistle. I thought you said you heard a horn. It was vice versa. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's get you out of here, Den. You know that crate. I thought Diesel just bullies you more. Hey, I'm not bullying. I'm trying to save that day. A workman opened up the door. Oh, no! Man, we must keep going. We gotta go. Okay, Yeezel. Yeah, we have to stop them. It's almost time. They say, what's the watch say? 6.30. Oh, no. Wait, I can help too. I'm done with my passenger train. And I can help. I can cancel my other train. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, of course. I I just hope there's ch not too much chasing. Chasing is bad for my swerves. Um, should we tell her? Daisy, don't be so selfish, said Ryan. Oh, oh dear, my swerves will ache, and my springs will sprung. Hmm. Oh, okay. I guess I will help, even if there is chasing, but I guess it's worth it for every, every single, almost every single engine on the island. <laughs> That's a spirit, Daisy. Let's go. We have any time. Wait, we need to find Gordon. They might have caught him. Let's radio him. Dan to Gordon. Dan to Gordon. Repeat. Is he there? He's still there. Yes. I bet you they're at the ironworks. Let's go. They found Philip. Philip! Thank goodness we found you. They found Philip at Natford Harbor. Yeah, thank goodness. I'm happy I found you guys too. There was Derek. He was also hiding in the yards, too. Derek, thank goodness we found you. Can you help as well? Uh, sure, Diesel. My engine's been fixed, hopefully forever. I hope so, too. Come on, let's go. Okay. Come on. The chase was on. They raced on their way. When there was trouble. Oh! Yikes! Hazel, what are you doing? Mr. Percival told you. Gordon, listen, they're going to smelt them all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Okay, we got to go. <laughs> Let's go. I'll, I'll get a replace. I'll tell get a replacement bus, right, driver? Come on, we better get a replacement bus. Yeah, don't even worry about your passengers. They can get another time. If we even lose them to the buses, who cares? Our friends at risk. That'd be a bigger loss. Yeah. Come on, Gordon. Hurry. Okay. Driver, is it okay? Can we get a replacement bus? For the passengers? Yes, one. Sure. Oh. We gotta go bring the coaches back. And we gotta talk to the station master. I think 30 might be at the station, though. Okay. They got a replacement bus. Finally, you were taking ages, Gordon. Okay. Jeez, we have to go. I think. Right? Yes. Let's go. Rescue! Coming through! Wait. Hurry up, Mavis. Ugh. It's taking forever. Gee, 
Sheesh, Gordon, never knew you were so impatient. Okay, we're at Marin now. Soon they're at so Marin we Station. We need to arrange ourselves. They were gonna refuel. And reorganize himself into one line. Into three lines. Uh, hey, Paxton, get out of the way! Out Whoa! Way. Henry, what are you doing here? Let Henry go. Henry, you can help he us! He can help us? No, he can't! No, Henry's old he's square a wheels! He's a and so am I. Right? Oh my oh, goodness! Uh, and I'm a galloping uh, sausage? He yes, you are! He had a rebuild. Better than he a square wheel. Three railway. But still, Engines. let it Henry try. Yeah, let me help. Uh, fine! Guys! Guys! Hello, everyone! Gordon, I'm so glad you're safe. Edward? Edward how did they forget about you? Okay? I don't know, maybe we've just been neglected it a lot. I don't know. Right. Well, we are yes, the three I railway engines. We so must stick together. We're like the three of the what railway. We're trying to stop diesel. Yes, trains. indeed. I'll join you. Come on. Too. Um, no. Oh, you fine, a diesel. Yes, you will. Thank you, diesel. Ugh. Wait, where's your tender gone? Oh my goodness, where is it? Oh my goodness, where is it? Can someone grab that replacement tender? I, I I don't know if we have one. I I don't know. Said Philip. I think I saw one in the yard. Philip got it in no time. Finally, finally, let's go. They finally were on their way. Hopefully, with no more interruptions, the diesel rocketed down the main line, and and Ryan, Edward, and Henry and Gordon thundered down with clouds of smoke and. Honking horns everywhere. Uh, what's that? Hold Get up. Out of Whoa! Sorry! Not really! Uh, wait, what? That's steam engines! Whoa! Oh my goodness! No way! Ninjas great! Now to the next week! They were coming They, 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 they just tried to it. They knocked off the team off the line. Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! On vacation, Sir Cotton Hat was had heard the news. Oh my goodness, we have to leave. I heard about her almost near collision. I'll call Harold the helicopter to pick us up. I heard about it on the news. Before long, Harold was there. Sir, I had no idea about that wreck. I'm so sorry, I didn't do anything about it. No, it's fine. Some purple engine, probably Ryan stopped it. That Charlie would, but I don't know what happened. Anyway, let's go. Okay, fine. Just then, the manager of the private home that Sir Tom Hatton Lady Hat were renting. And hey, wait, you forgot to pay! Hey, I don't even know your credit card number! But Harold was already oh. taken off. Darn it! Dang it! Darn it! Ah! <laughs> Meanwhile, the engines had approached the smelter. Diesel! Diesel! Wait! You're saving us? But every single in steam engine was there. Oh, thank goodness we're saved! Hooray! But then there was trouble. Well, you know me, I'm full of surprises. They all to say of me, I bring some rise and to the yard. Thomas was so 
excited that no one realized a track that was up where Diesel 10 was. Ah, 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 you've fallen into my trap, Diesel. Oh, we'll have you smelted up at once. Smelt him up first. Wait, what? No. No, no, you can't. Oh, also, your friends, your steam engine friends, they've been taken away to be disposed off, off of a cliff so they don't escape. Or oh, I think the Town Bridge. Oh, wait, no! What, 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 what's going on? Help! Oh, no! Ha, ha, I think you could get away from us that easily. Yeah, you're wrong. Very wrong. Uh, you shunters aren't too big for me. I can manage you. Gordon was easily not amused. They did not even move him an inch. Edward was being moved the most. Oh, dear. Ha, well, ha. You think you might need reinforcements? Ha! Yes, we do! Wait, no! Where am I going? Wait! Wait! Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, wait, where are you shoving us? Whoa! The diesels were shoved off the track. Wait! Who's that? Salty? Bo? Go? Bogo! Who's Bogo? Bogo, here, take the oil. I can't go because I run out of electricity. Oh, right. You can have the oil of those diesels. Yeah, but. And we must find a way to get Mr. Percival. I, I wish that Tom Hat was back. Oh, we must do this. Together we can save the day. The doors were closed, so no one could hear them inside the smelter yard. However, all the all the all the diesels were derailed. Oh dear! And Stafford, Boko, and Salty all left. Let's go! We have no time to waste. We can do this," said Edward. Yes, indeed. Meanwhile, inside the smelter's yard. Diesel 10 was happy. Ah, ah, this is going to be great. The doors were shut, and the diesels didn't know where to go backwards or forwards. They were so confused that some derailed each other. Ha, ha, whoa! Diesel was shoved up. Yes, the plan worked. Huh, you thought we were confused, but now we weren't. We all just had the plan. Diesel 10. Yeah, but the diesels were all derailed slightly, and Ryan tried, but he couldn't get back on the rails. Soon, this caused him, him to derail, and so did Daisy. Ha! Now, Mavis, we'll take you first, as you're the biggest traitor of them all. You've never once supported my actions. So time to pay. <laughs> Diesel Ten forgot that Diesel was on the same the upper level of Smelter's yard. This would be vital. The grabber was about to grab Mavis. Diesel shoved Diesel Ten. Ah, uh, you can't! You can't! You can't, Diesel! You can't! Oh yes, I can! Whoa! No, no, don't shove me in the ground. Don't shove me. Please. What? No. No. Ah, help. Pinchy. Pinchy. Oh, Pinchy. Oh. Ah, ah, um. You really thought you could. Ah, oh, your placement. I hate you so much. I hate you, you little dog. Right of duck leaves. You are going to live now. 
you're not even, you're not even part of the site, you're not even gonna live now. Oh, yeah, don't know, cinders and ashes. Oh, yeah, whoa, whoa, oh, no. And the and the black diesel fell into the molten slack. Wow, did I just do that? Hooray for Diesel! Hooray! Oh, Diesel, you saved my life, even after it was so rude. Wow, thanks, Diesel. Thank you so much. Wow, well done, Diesel. Dang, whistles and horns and every sound was heard. Hooray for Diesel! Hooray! Just then, the doors opened. And was, there was Gordon Edward Henry. Mr. Percival stepped out of Henry's cab. And who stepped out of Edward's cab was none other than Sir Topham Hatt, the Fat Controller. Well, what has happened here? What on earth? Me and Lady Hatt had to delay our vacation. Oh, cancel it. I want to know the full story, Diesel, right now. What is Diesel 10 doing here? Oh, uh, Diesel saved us, sir. He saved us from being scrapped. After that, Diesel did not expect any warm welcome or anything, any reward or the sort. He didn't expect, like, anything besides congratulations, which he got that day. But little did he know what happened the next day as he pulled into Napa Station with his cars. Hooray for Diesel! Hooray! Whistles, horns, and bells were heard all over. It was a grand celebration for Diesel and, and, and him saving the day. Hooray for Diesel! Hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! Thank you, Diesel! Thank you! Thank you! Whistles, horns, and bells were heard all over Natford City. It was a um, very exciting occasion. Everyone was very happy. Hooray for Diesel! Hooray! Hooray! Thank you. Ah, oh, Diesel. Well done. Well done, Diesel. Well done. Well done, Diesel. I couldn't have done it without my friends, though. Yeah, we couldn't have done it without you, Diesel. Yeah, we couldn't have. Yeah. We couldn't have done it without you. Well, I really couldn't have done it without, without any of you. Nonsense, Diesel. You led us. You are a leader. Diesel, I'm sorry I was... I doubted you. I'm sorry every time I've been rude. Well... Yes, Diesel, I am very proud of you indeed. Diesel, you are a very useful engine. All the engines were proud of Diesel. Yes, Diesel, I'm sorry I thought Well done, you. you know what I always say I'm full of surprises They ought to say of me He brings some razzle-dazzle to the yard He's full of surprises As you can plainly see He don't find being surprising all that hard Some would probably say He's only up to his old tricks but he went through a mighty fix to save the day. Hey, 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 hey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's full of surprises, they all to say of him. He brings some razzle dazzles to the rails. I'm full of surprises, as you can finally see. I'm trusting my surprises to prevail. I hope this time being surprising doesn't fail. They used to call me Devious Because he's had a bit of previous But please you must believe us I'm not that bad Well at least not anymore